What is that, peeps? Um, I have a lot, a lot of stuff to go over and talk about. So this will probably be a long, long video. Um, over the past week, me and the family went on vacation to uh, San Diego. Um, went to SeaWorld, went to Legoland. Um, after that, we went to Frankenstein's, this collectibles. I don't know what it is, kind of like a flea market, kind of, but for collectibles. Um, went there, that night I went to a Dodgers game, next day I went to the second largest flea market in the nation, I believe it is, um, at the Rose Bowl, there in Pasadena, it's held uh, once a month, the, the first Sunday of every month, or the sec second Sunday of every month. I uh, went to that, so um, came back, had a ton of mail. Um, I had some awesome pickups while I was gone, so we'll go, we'll just get started. Um, put on a ton of weight, man, while I was gone, so I'm having to, I don't know if y'all can see that. That's egg whites, spinach, tomatoes, and onions, the ketchup on top. Um, probably should do without the ketchup, but, um, so that's that. But I am drinking it with a soda. Um kind of fun fact maybe about me that you guys don't know is I am a root beer connoisseur. Um, I like trying different root beers, um, not just like the A&W, like the micro brews of root beers, if you will. Um, and I found this one about 40 minutes down the road from me here. It's called Frosty Root Beer. Um, I've never seen it, never tried it. Um, cap's still on, so I'll be drinking that with my um, lunch. Um, let's get into it. So at the Dodgers game, they had a bobblehead giveaway. It was this one. I, I got seven of them, um, and I've already traded them all. I sold one and traded the rest, shipped all them suckers out. Um, a guy backed out of a trade at the very last minute. Um, so that's why I still have that one. So I'll be hopefully moving that one, selling or trading it in the next hour, hopefully. Um, so that's that. At the Dodgers game, we got that. We got this little program. I always collect these pocket schedules. There's they always, they have a different player on their pocket schedule. So I grabbed a handful. And I kept the Yusil Puig one. And every stadium I go to, I try to pick up a game used baseball, um, MLB authenticated, and I did at Dodger Stadium. I got this one. It was $25, MLB authenticated, and I always put the ticket to the game that I was at inside the ball cube. So, very cool. Um, when I went to Yankee Stadium two years ago, when I was with the Blue Angels, I bought a game used ball there, and it's through Steiner. Dude, it was a hundred dollars for a freaking ball, and you didn't know who the ball was, what it was used for. Like it was MLB authenticated, but they tell you that's how they make it fair for everybody. They charge everyone a flat rate of a hundred dollars. And you can look at your MLB authentication like a week after, because that's when it posts. This is what the guy's telling me uh, about a week after, and it could be he's like it could be a Derek Jeter double, it could be a Joe Schmo freaking foul ball. He's like it's really a great deal. So needless to say, that was a couple years ago. I still haven't looked and see what my ball is, um, but I got sidetracked, like I do. Um, I guess we'll go straight into. Uh, did some purchases before I left. They came in. Um, I got this Miguel Cabrera on a All Star Bowl, and I bought this my first ever um, Mike Trout autograph. I got it from a guy in the Facebook group. Um, says he got it IP, so I will be sending it. So these guys already got the form printed out. Just need to fill out the form, get that. Have four balls I'm going to send to them. Um, that Miguel Cabrera, this Mike Trout. 
and these two balls that I bought over the weekend at the Frankenson show. You seal Puig. And another Mike Trout. So I know this is kind of that's kind of more of the signature Mike Trout's using now um, nowadays, and then this one's kind of the one he was using more like last year, um, beginning of last year and such. So we'll be sending those four baseballs off. Hopefully it's good news. Um, yeah, so there's that. Um, TTM came in. Another Kevin Harvick. This was a purchase. Steve Latart. This is Dale Jr.'s um, crew chief. TTM, Hermie Sadler. Um, won't show y'all that guy. Just because I told you I won't show him anymore. Um... Brett Bodine signed three of three. There's another one in the middle that looks just like this card. What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, I'll be showing that in a minute. I bought this set. Um, I don't think I'm going to TTM it. Well, let me rephrase. I'm going to TTM it, just not before I go on deployment. Um, this 2012. Um, total memorabilia. I just really like how these cards look. So, be holding on to those for quite some time. More TTMs. Tony Bennett. You can't. There it is. There it is in silver. Tony Bennett. John Force signing two of two. I was pretty excited to get this. Bud Moore in on one of my customs until I realized he signed my case. <laughs> uh, that autograph is not on the photo. Um, another custom. Junior Johnson with the Hall of Fame inscription. Um, I guess I'll show it. Fuck it. Uh -huh. Richard Petty signed in gold. And I thought this was awesome because I sent him two photos. And he had Dale Inman sign it. Well, I guess it was there. So um, both of those are in gold. And which was ironic because I sent Dale Inman that same photo that Richard Petty already signed. I showed him a past video. It signed it in red. And Dale Inman sent it back while I was gone. And he signed that. And he also, Dale Inman signed my card there in silver that Richard Petty had already signed. Got Ned Jarrett. Put the Hall of Fame inscription and he wrote Gentleman Ned Jarrett on there. That's his nickname. I asked him to inscribe and he did. And I got in two more from Kale Yarborough. All of these are five by sevens. So, that's that. Man, I'm cruising through this stuff. This is going a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. Um, Alex, um, I know you write, or excuse me, you watch my videos, but you don't post. Um, I bought your 2014 American Thunder set. Um, it's just a matter of when I get to the post office. Um, I'm thinking about doing something different on the contest that I have going on. I I don't know if I'm going to give everyone a prize that does a video entry or if I'm going to just randomly select people um, that made videos to just get smaller prizes or what have you. Um, like I told you when I made the video, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, but some of the guys that already posted, I did go out of my way to purchase cards for them. Um, so... Here, I'll be giving these cards away as part of the contest, um, and you will not get this driver unless it's your driver that you've made in your video. So, Eric Amarola, Matt Kenza, Clint Boyer, Brad Kozlowski, Ty Dillon, 
Jimmy Johnson. Carl Edwards. And this super fat Joey Logano. So all of those will be going out in time to you guys that participated in the contest. And I got something in from this cat. Um, he sent a photo that I have not seen before. That's right. That's our main man, Ricky Russo. Um, I'll be putting this right here. Y'all can't see it, but I have a little YouTube Hall of Fame signatures. I cut out normally just the signature and I post it on my desk, but I will be posting that whole picture on my um, desk here, Ricky. Um, Ricky put uh, out a video a while back that maybe people weren't getting his stuff that he sent out, and he posted why and all that stuff. Um, and I didn't write anything. This was about two, three weeks after he was sending me something. And I didn't write him, didn't let him know. And then I kind of got to thinking, I'm like, you know, if this dude's mail, if someone's stealing this dude's mail, he has a right to know. Because um, I didn't want to let him know because then obviously he sent me shit and that's not what it, I was wanting. That's not why I was asking or not, excuse me, that's not why I was telling him that I didn't get it because I didn't want a shit coming up missing. I let him know that I didn't get nothing and he might want to go talk to his postmaster about people stealing his mail and we chit chatted back and forth just for a couple PMs and he ended up sending me some shit. Um, so we'll get right into these. Um, Pedro Alvarez SP variation. A very nice Danny Salazar. Auto. On card auto. And uh, Ivan Nova, SP variation. And then this one, he just sent a stack of cards. Okay. Oops. So he sent a stack of cards, and the card on the top blew my mind. Um, I seen this, and I thought it was redeemed, and it's not. Uh, there we go. Uh, Reese McGuire. Bowman Chrome um, rookie auto. Uh, I know a lot of I know a couple uh, Pirates fans, man, and they think highly on this dude already. So I cannot believe that you would um, send a top prospect auto, uh, Ricky. Uh, that's a bit excessive, man. That's a bit much. That's more than just some shine, as you say. So um, Tyler Chatwood auto. Yasil Puig. Manny Machado, which is super nice, man. I really like this card. Cespedes. Digging on this one, too. Bryce Harper. I hope to be purchasing a Bryce Harper signed ball within the hour. Xander Bogarts. Cal Ripken. A Jose Canseco, this is like a throwback rookie. This isn't the, his actual rookie. What is this from? 2014 Tops. So that, this might be archives. I don't know. I haven't busted that product. Mark Appel from my hometown, Houston Astros. Um, he's kind of going through some, some shit right now with injuries. Clayton Kershaw, that will definitely be going out TTM. And this super sweet Jake Johansson mini blue wave. I believe that's a blue wave. Um, I don't know anything about this cap, but I know I'll be sending it out TTM, hopefully to get signed. Um, so that's that, Ricky. Um, thank you very much, brother. I think this is the SP variation photo because I don't see these photos a lot. Actually, I've never seen this photo. So until next time, guys, that's the live column, as always, during the video. Um, love you guys. Stay safe. And adios.